All right. Mr. Mr. Bobby Gorman, ladies and gentlemen. Most people know who I am here. I need to see a colander on your head. <laughs> it's going it's to be hard to follow. Okay. Short guy. Uh, it's going to be hard to follow, you know, the luminaries I'm behind, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and take a different approach and just sum this up pretty quickly. Um, because, um, you know, I, I think there's a similar thread through all of these things about meeting Dave at any point in our day of our lives where we were impressionable and we needed someone to sort of focus a feeling we had. And uh, so in, in, in all these other stories, I'm just another one of those. But, um, you know, I, uh, I'm going to be different in the fact that this last week has been so intense as far as um, trying to come to grips with this. And, and think about him in a larger uh, historical perspective. And, and that's what I'm gonna try to do here. I'm gonna try and like take what, what a larger view of Dave, because studying a lot of uh, history and a lot of art, and you know, a, a big worry of mine throughout in my entire career with this, and, and I've been involved since I was a little kid, you know, so I've, I've been involved for my entire adult life with this band, so. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it is, it's, it's, now it's, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that, but it, it's a burden to think like, you know, this thing is happening that's so incredible, I just hope that people realize it eventually. And if anything, this week has proved to me that I'm not worried about that. That, that, yeah. that. Yeah. People know who they you know, it, it, we will be remembered. You know, Dave will be remembered. His legacy is intact. And for that, like, I'm, I'm very, I, I sleep easy at night. I, I miss him incredibly, and I don't sleep easy, but I sleep easy in the fact that his legacy is intact because the outpouring um, from everyone at every level is so the same. It's incredible. And, and in that, that's the, what I'm going to speak of just real briefly. And that's, I've come to you today this last week as, as something that, you know, we all talk about him as the person we knew. And I'm thinking of him in, in, in such a bigger terms than that. And his, he was, a, he personified a force. Um, uh, he personified, it was like a, an embodiment of an otherworldly force of, of artistic creativity and youth. And, and in that respect, everybody that talks about him just said, like, you know, we can't believe he's gone because they can't believe that this embodiment of, of, of creativity and youth is gone. And, and you know, how do you eulogize? How do you eulogize? <laughs> but that's it, like, you know, Brocky wasn't gonna get old, like, because youth and creativity can't get old. He just went away, you know, because um, he, 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 it wouldn't be any other way. You know, how do you, how do you, you know, like the thing about, we all say, oh, he drove me crazy, he drove me crazy. Dave knew how to do things, but he wouldn't do them. You know, he would say like, well, that's not interesting. I know how to make a mold, I know how to draw, but that's not interesting to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it backwards or with some uh, product that I, I just found in an alley, you know? <laughs> because he didn't, he didn't want it to be the same old thing. He didn't want it to be right or, or like proper or craft. He wanted it to be some sort of like, uh, you know, a cosmic voyage, you know, to the, to the, through outer space, you know, he, he wanted it to be some sort of uh, just thing that happened to him, experience, and, uh, and you know, that was the frustrating thing, so let's just make the fucking prop, like, could you please just finish it on top, and I was like, no, because that would be no fun, that would be no fun to finish it on time and on budget, I'm going to, you know, like, find something in an alley and dump some Mod Podge on it and use everything that you're not supposed to use, some straw or something. <laughs> and I was like, you know, but, but just like uh, Bishop and just like Bob said, it was like, that was what you got from him. You got like, well, just because that's the way you do it doesn't mean it's the way you have to do it. And if you don't enjoy doing it, do it a different way. 
like just, you know, he just shook it up. And the most frustrating thing about him was the greatest thing about him. And, and you know, to sum it all up, I'll say, like, it was the most, you know, it, it is, there's all these, like, jargon slogans about, like, the military, like Bishop said, but it's true. Like, it was the hardest thing that I've ever loved. And, and uh, it, it was the most rewarding pain in the ass that I've ever had to deal with. <laughs> Don, Dragovich, where is he?